Well, hello, and now we're on video eight in chapter three. This is the last, um, the last video for chapter three. We're talking about stem cells and cell death. Now, stem cells are pretty unique cells in the fact that they can divide and, and form different types of cells. Uh, we are going to look at, uh, when we get into the skeletal system, we're going to look at a type of bone marrow called red bone marrow. And in red bone marrow, we store what we call blood stem cells. And I'm going to use a, a picture from the 211 class, this, which is going to show this is the, the stem cells. Now, you don't have to know this. I just think it's a good visual to, to learn it. So. In red bone marrow, we have what's called a hemopoietic stem cell. Again, right now, you don't have to know that. In 211, you will. But this cell is hanging out in the red bone marrow. If you've ever heard of someone having to have a bone marrow transplant, what they're trying to do is harvest those cells. Because this one cell can turn into the different, the many different types of blood cells we have. All right, So we have red blood cells and platelets. Then we have these different types of cells called leukocytes or white blood cells. And so there's actually um, eight different types of cells that this one stem cell can form. And so this is what's called a stem cell. And let's say I went and I gave blood and my body will notice that I have a a lower red blood cell count now. So I've got an oxygen carrying capability issue because I've got low red blood cell count. So my body will produce a hormone. It will go to this stem cell and it will start down a path to make erythrocytes, which are red blood cells. Now, in the, in the slide we're getting ready to look at, it's gonna talk about stem cells and progenitor cells. I want you to know that these, this little group of cells, well, maybe not there, but this little group of cells are called progenitor cells. What they are, are cells that are no longer the stem cell, but they haven't officially become what they're going to. Uh, they've started down the path, but they're not there, if that makes sense. So let's look at what the slide that we have um, kind of talks about. So stem cells, like I said, stem cells, are gonna be cells that can divide into many different types of cells. And if I wanna speak true scientific ease, it, they're called differentiate. So I've got the hemopoietic stem cell, and as it starts differentiating into different, different pathways in order to make the different types of cells, it's gonna go through a process and form cells called progenitor cells. They're, not, they're no longer the stem cell, and they're no longer the cell that they're going to be, but they're committed, as it says here. Now, there's two types of stem cells, um, and, and the, the thing to concentrate on is this first part, totipotent, which means total, and pluripotent, which means more than one. The red, the, the hemopoietic stem cell we looked at is called a pluripotent. It can turn into many different types of cells, plural, multiple cells, but it can't turn into any cell. Like I can't make it an osteocyte. I can't make it uh, a neuron. I can't make it into other cells. Now, at the very beginning, when the egg and the sperm get together, those first couple of cells that are formed, when it start, or that first cell that's formed, when it starts dividing, at the very beginning, those cells are identical. Um, we cannot tell the difference. Now, unlike my drawing, which they all look in different shapes, we cannot tell the difference of any of these. These are called totipotent cells because each one of these could turn into nervous system. It could turn into digestive system. It can turn into skeletal system. It can turn into circulatory system. But as they start dividing, they will eventually start differentiating. They'll start getting on these dedicated tracks. And at that point, they leave the ability to turn into totally anything to where now they can turn into many things, plural. All right. So the difference between a totipotent uh, stem cell and a pluripotent stem cell is the fact that the totipotent stem cells are only those very early embryonic cells, and they have not differentiated yet. They can turn into anything. Once they start being dedicated to their system, they become pluripotent. 
and I hope that makes sense. So this is kind of showing how the stem cell, you know, it'll divide and make more stem cells. But once it gets stimulated to go on a path, the pathway is going to be of progenitor cells until it finally gets to its official um, destination. Again, uh, these early, you know, stem cells, these right here, these early stem cells are going to be the, the totipotent stem cells. Uh, again, like I said, this science te technology is also uh, one of those things we're not going to look at. We're not going to um, we're not going to spend time on unless I there are a few that I might specifically say this is not one of them. So the last thing we look at in this chapter is what we refer to as cell death. And there's two types, you know, and again, this is going to be pretty basic. Um, apoptosis is normal cell death. Um, this is, again, we got the telomere, it no longer, um, it, the telomere has been removed, it's no longer uh, going to go through mitosis, and it's just going to die. We refer to that as apoptosis. If, on the other hand, the cell has been damaged and it dies, we call that necrosis. This is not a normal process. Apoptosis is normal, necrosis is abnormal, and this is cell damage. This kind of shows some of the parts of it as it, you know, the, um, the cell death happens. Again, um, peeling of the skin after a sunburn. But again, for me in my class on the test, apoptosis is normal cell death. Um, necrosis is abnormal cell death. And that concludes chapter three's videos. Hope everybody has a wonderful day.